morning uh, students i am shanavas today we are going to deal with the first chapter of the second year that is solid state we all know that chemistry is a branch of science which deals the study of matter especially the classification structure and properties of matter on the basis of the states of the matter we can classify the matter into three you all know that they are first solid second gas and the third liquid gas and liquid they are together called the fluids about fluids we have already, we have already studied in our first year topic that is states of matter in this year we are going to be with the third one that is solid state okay what is solid solid is one of the states of matter which has a definite shape and a definite volume solid have many properties especially one is it is rigid second one it is incompressible and third one the constant particles are closely packed and fourth one there is a strong intermolecular force among the particles okay there are many properties in this year we are very details we are going to discuss detailed things about the solids okay actually the solids again can be classified on the basis of the arrangement of particles as we know in a solid the particles are very closely packed on the basis of the regularity of the arrangement of particles inside the solid we can again classify it into two one is called crystal and another is called amorphous what are these two types amorphous means a solid in which the constituent particles are not regularly arranged there is no regularity of arrangement of particles okay the word meaning amorphous amorphous mean, means there is no form okay some examples glass paper wax etc other examples for amorphous solids okay then uh, there are many properties of amorphous solids we will discuss later then second one crystalline what is crystalline solid crystalline solids are the solids in which the constant particles are very very regularly cross packed there is a regularity of arrangement of particles suppose ice is a solid in which the constant particles are water molecules if the water molecules are very regularly arranged is there any regularity such solids are called crystalline solids there are many crystalline solids uh, some of the examples are ice is a crystalline solid uh, sodium chloride common salt is a crystalline solid and uh, there are many crystalline solids like the sugar Uh, all metals are crystalline solids okay then these are the uh, the, the specific simple uh, classification that is one is amorphous and another is crystalline amorphous means the solid in which the constant particles are not regularly arranged and the crystalline means a solid in which the particles are very regularly arranged this is a very simple definition but there are many differences Between the between the amorphous and the crystalline solids. Next, we are going to discuss what are the main important differences among the uh, particles among the um, between uh, amorphous and the crystalline solid. Hmm. Then, crystalline solids. The important properties of crystalline solids are first one. the particles are regularly arranged the constant particles are regularly arranged 
Then second one, it is anisotropic. What is anisotropic? We will discuss later. Okay. Then the third one in crystalline solid, there is a sharp and definite melting point. And the fourth and final one, that is the crystalline solids are conductors of electricity and heat. These are the important properties of crystalline solids. Okay. Then we will discuss what is anisotropy. Then today we are going to bring this class. Okay. Thank you.